Many thanks for staying with us on the newsroom. I'm Mary Kanu. A Fulani group identified as Fulani Nationality Movement, FUNAM, has claimed responsibility for the attack on Governor Samuel Autumn of Benue State. FUNAM said it planned to kill Autumn on Saturday, but its plan suffered a setback due to a slight communication error. A statement released by the group and signed by one Omar Amri Shehu said Autumn stood against open grazing and Fulani interest in the country and the group chose to act on behalf of millions of Fulani people in 15 countries. And some ex-militants from the mandate areas of Ondo State have lamented the failure and refusal of the federal and Ondo State government to honor their part of the Amnesty Disarmament Agreement. The ex-militants who had in 2017 laid down their arms said it was highly painful to note that the government had failed to include them in the amnesty program. They called on the security advisor to the president to assist and help in absorbing them into the presidential amnesty program, warning that the government should not force them to return to the creek. Anambra State Governor Willie Obiano has read the riot act to criminals following the recent attacks on police and naval formations in the state. In a state broadcast on Sunday in Oka, he noted, Obiano noted that another incident was caused by security operatives. According to the governor, any attack on security operatives in the state is an attack on the entirety of the people and all security agencies, vigilante services and tax force would rise in the defense of the state. As part of efforts to check the recent trend of security challenges in the state, he also declared that tinted glasses on vehicles as well as covered plate numbers would no longer be allowed on all roads within Anambra State. The Nigerian Bar Association has asked the Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki to review the dusk to dawn curfew in place to curb the spread of the COVID-19 virus in the state. NBA, in a statement issued on Monday by its chairman, Pius Oiwo, said the move is necessary because some security operatives had turned it into an extortion ring and a huge money spinner. The NBA said it had received many complaints about the activities of the security agents, particularly policemen, but the police public relations officer in the state, Bello Kotong, denied the extortion allegation, saying since the state government imp imposed a curfew, it was the duty of the police authorities to ensure it. And in business, the Central Bank of Nigeria has announced its decision to raise the targeted credit facility TCF for households and small and medium enterprises from 150 billion naira to 300 billion naira. The governor, CBN, Godwin Emefiele, disclosed this at a seminar for finance editors and correspondents held virtually in Lagos and Abuja simultaneously. He revealed banks had disbursed a total of 149.21 billion naira to small and medium enterprises and households across the country under the TCF. Emefele, who was represented by the bank's deputy director of corporate services, Edward Lemetek, said the CBN made moves to alleviate the plight of households and business owners and drive economic growth during the pandemic. And the ex-president of the Central African Republic, Francis Bozizé, has been named as the new rebel leader in the country. The former president has officially taken over the leadership of the Coalition of Patriots for Change, CPC, which controls two-thirds of the country. CBC spokesman Serge Bozanga said the former head of state had responded favorably to the call of the six armed groups that are members of the CPC to lead the rebel group as, it, as its general coordinator. Since the invalidation of his candidacy for the presidential elections of December 2020, Bozizé has formalized links with the CPC. And in sports, Super Eagles players and officials on Monday resumed fitness training at the Teslim Balogun Stadium ahead of their 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against Benin Republic and Lesotho. The players and their officials are lodged at the Echo Hotel and Suite as the team open camp on Sunday. The Eagles are built to play Benin and Lesotho on the 27th and 30th of March, 2021. And that's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Mary Cannon.